Okay, now we're going to look at some uh, Eden Prairie Boys and Matt. Mitch, uh, good work on the body position here. The knees are driving. Uh, I'd like to see him drive into the hill a little more. You're still kind of upright. Angles are pretty good. Would like to see everything tipped in towards the hill a bit more. I uh, would also like to see a little more application of power uh, on the pole. You can't see it in slow-mo, but once we kick back into uh, full motion, you'll see it again. Looks like you could use it. These poles seem a little short for, for skating, too. Um, okay, other side. Again, nice footwork. You can see you're pushing off with the full foot. That's good. That's what we're looking for. The foot is not getting far behind. Uh, other guys, you guys should look at that when we get to you. Uh, other three, we have a little more pushing, towing off. Uh, but yeah, good job, Mitch. That, that's a big improvement over even Friday. Okay, Matt, here's a, the towing off problem. I was just uh, talking to you about in practice, and you can see just like Chris Parr, it pulls your whole body way out of whack, and then you're having to kind of thrust upward. So, so you end up in this position without a good knee ankle angle. Think about you need to think about bending that ankle and driving the knee into the hill. Okay, and again, you can just see where that pushing off and towing off at the uh, the ski instead of using your whole foot is throwing your whole body out of whack. It's twisting those hips. We're gonna freeze the frame here. Uh, in a minute on your on pushing back with your foot instead of pushing the whole foot and you can see just how far back it is and how that's opened up your hips and created extra motion which doesn't give you much of a chance to get into the uh, proper ready position with your ankle bent deep and your knees driving into the hill. Uh, Henry here we have uh, you're very upright uh, we need to Relax those shoulders, get that natural curve in your chest and your head. And we need you to kind of take that whole motion and, and make yourself shorter. Go into the hill with your knees driving into the hill, ankles bending. We want to look at you and see a you know five foot seven guy skiing up the hill, even though you're oh, probably over six feet. Here we look at the, the front on view and uh, what we're looking for is, is to get your hips sliding all the way over uh, in line with your body as opposed to leaving the hips in the middle. You can see here, we're going to freeze it right here, and you can see where your hips are really in the middle, whereas at this point they should be out and everything should be in a nice clean line on the outside of your uh, body. Your whole torso should be as straight as your pole on that outside. And you're getting it kind of kinked there. But good job on the feet. Feet are uh, you're using your whole foot to push off. That's good. Um, lower body uh, looks pretty good. All right, Tom, uh, we got the similar similar thing to Matt going here. You're, you're, you're pushing back, uh, not quite the same level as Matt, but as you see, the pushing back leaves you at this pretty upright position. And then you're compressing by just dropping the torso and leaving the legs kind of really, uh, you're almost uh, hyperextending them at the end. So we want those legs to kind of stay in if you, in that ready position. If you go back and look at Mitch, uh, his knees were always driving into the hill. Knees were never fully extending. And you look here as you come by, your legs really straighten out as you're coming up on the pole. We want the pole to go forward and then compress, not up and down. You can see here that that results in a tough angle uh, ratio from your back to your shin. Um, but uh, yeah, getting a little...